and welcome back everyone to the latest anime news for the week ending January 5th, 2018. Welcome to the new year. Starting with some news about the much beleaguered uh, service from Amazon, Anime Strike. The Anime Strike service has been shut down, but don't worry if you already have a subscription. Uh, Anime Strike was sort of a sub-service within Amazon Prime where if you subscribe for an extra couple of dollars a month to Anime Strike, you got access to a bunch of uh, simulcasts, unique simulcasts of anime. And Amazon's decided to basically cut that out and um, fold that into Amazon Prime. So now it's just part of your Amazon Prime subscription, if you have one. And it's just there. You don't have to subscribe to Amazon Strike. In addition to that, if you have subscribed to Amazon Strike, or I'm sorry, to Anime Strike, they will prorate your subscriptions. Whatever, you know, whatever you've, whatever you would have paid for beyond this, you know, however much more of your subscription you would have paid for, they're going to refund you back. So that's cool. Uh, good of them to do that. Uh, I'm not sure if this means that they're going, that they're cutting back on the amount of anime they're licensing and simulcasting, but we'll see. Um, I know they have uh, de uh, decided they're going to do some things for the upcoming season, but uh, who knows how much of an impact, in other words, this will have on their anime streaming in general. Um, but for now, Anime Strike is gone, and uh, you don't have to pay for it anymore, which is, you know, awfully nice. Uh, moving on to some uh, anime announcement news, everyone loves that. A new Tiger and Bunny anime project has been announced. It will be a series uh, announced on their Twitter account, the Sunrise, uh, uh, Sunrise Studios Twitter account. For those not familiar, Tiger, Tiger and Bunny is a story about uh, superheroes in a world where superheroing is so expensive you have to have corporate sponsors. So uh, superheroes run around the city, you know, solving cr uh, crimes or stopping uh, stopping crimes with corporate logos plastered on their backs, kind of like a big sporting event. So it's this interesting sort of commentary on uh, sort of modern culture and so forth and so on. Also interesting for the fact that a lot of the sponsors were real companies in the show. So a new anime series is coming along. Uh, we still don't know who's going to be involved. The director of the original series we know is not involved. He just hit, tweeted and said, by the way, I'm not involved. Um, we don't know anything thus far about it beyond that, but that's cool. More Tiger and Bunny sounds like an interesting concept and a premise that certainly can be used for more interesting, uh, interesting commentary on the world. Um, so more news on Violet Evergarden, Kyoto Animation's next series. It's a little confusing. Uh, Netflix is uh, listing Violet Evergarden with a new episode January 11th in Canada, the UK, and the Philippines. There's still no listing for the series in Japan or the US on Netflix. Very confusing. Now the show will premiere in Japan on January 10th, like outside of Netflix, and Netflix has said they're going to license and or they're going to stream the series worldwide. Um, so still a little unclear. And the uh, the weird thing is that the um, <clears throat> the official website for the series says it's going to stream in Japan in spring of this year. Um, still a lot of weirdness and confusion around when Violet Evergarden is actually going to be available, but who knows? Um, hopefully at some point we will get that and it will be around, but, uh, yeah, they're, they're kind of trying to let us know, kind of, sort of, yeah. Um, good news for, new, for, uh, fans of Love Live Sunshine, however, there's gonna be a new anime film coming out for Love Live, Love Live Sunshine, again, came from the Twitter account for the franchise, unfortunately, that's pretty much all we know, there's, there, there's going to be a new film, but hey, good news there. Finally, Your Name uh, aired on TV this past week, um, and uh, that was uh, on, I believe, uh, Wednesday of, uh, of this week, and it got a 17.4% uh, ratings in its time slot, meaning that basically 17.4% of people watching television in Japan tuned in to watch Your Name when it was on, which is a pretty darn high percentage, so good on you, Your Name, for doing that. Uh, that is higher than Shin Godzilla got on November 12th, which had a ratings of 15%. So that's pretty darn cool. Um, lots of uh, lots of interest in your name still. Not everyone in Japan went to see your name, apparently. But uh, 
uh, or in, in theaters, that is. So, yes, your name is still riding the wave over there in Japan. So that does it for the news for this week. Hopefully this was helpful to you, and I, ho I hope to see you again next week right here.